Hey, hey, babe, don't worry, babe. The abuse on me. And who the hell are you? Please. Do I look like I'm cheap to you? I can pay my own bill. Just Madam. No, use that. Just don't mind it. I'll be waiting outside, Kayla. You know my name. Hey! I'm sorry if I've offended you, okay? My name is Edge. I saw you for the first time at the President's daughter graduation party. Yeah, but how come I don't remember seeing you? I don't know, but you seem to be in good books with her, right? Yeah, she's my friend. But what do you want from me? Right, Kayla. I'm interested in you. <laughs> you see, for the first time when I set my eyes on you, I felt the chemistry right away. I truly love you. Listen, Mr. Zedge. Zedge, or whatever you call yourself. I'm not interested in you. I've got no feelings whatsoever for you. I don't love you. So don't you ever come to me talking about love again, and don't you ever follow me. Yay! And one more thing, girl. You are so beautiful, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Girl, you look troubled. What happened? Talk to me. Girl? Mm? Another chance to win my day today. Mm? What happened? Talk to me. <sighs> okay. Uh. So I was in town mm -hmm. this morning doing my shopping. Mm -hmm. And then this loser guy just appeared from nowhere. And it was like, I want to take you out. I like you. Uh -huh. But what? Mm -hmm. Is that that was not enough? When I got home, he was there. He was following me. What? Yeah. So I went to confront him. And then it was like, I met you at this uh, president's daughter's birthday party. Remember the party? That one. Yeah, yes. I, do. I don't remember seeing this guy. Stock attendances. I know, right? So, but is there anything wrong with him showing interest in you? Uh, are you for real? Yeah. I am in love with Michael, okay, and very soon we're going to be married. So I told him off. You did not have to be harsh and rude. Yeah, good. Uh, I don't even know this guy. Uh, okay. And he was following me. You should be concerned. Tony, come on, my boy. Do you want to dance all the day? No, Uncle. As you work out, start when you're finished. I know. But you know what? Since Monday, if you're not reading your books, you are dancing. Uncle, you don't understand. In two months' time, I'll be going back to England to compete in nationals. And the best dancers are everywhere, so the heat is on. I know, I know, my boy. I know. It's only that you are good at your school. Otherwise, I could have banned this dancing business long time ago. So, tell me, my boy, what are you having for supper today? Um, Sadza and this other disgusting relish man called Derebe. <laughs> it's not disgusting, man. That's a good relish. Say Derebe. Derebe. <laughs> hey, Zumara. Hey. Hey, hey. 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 You guys look good together. Oh, is it? Match made in heaven. What time, girl? What time? Okay, so. Where are you coming from this time of the day? Mm. Mm. Is there anything wrong with my visit here? Oh, okay. What are we planning here? The village get chop chop. Ah, you <laughs> wish. You mm. wish. You get married first and then I'll follow. Yeah, so, mm. anyway, I'll be traveling to the village. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. My father's sister was discharged from hospital two days ago, so I'll be missing from the picture for a couple of days. I'm so sorry, girl. Mm. Well, I'm sorry for that, too. Tell you, girl, we'll do no, it. I miss you. you so much. Don't miss me, don't miss me. I'll be back. Let me just get to the kitchen and see what you can do for yourself. All right, thanks, girl. All right. Uh -huh. What are you doing? That's my drink. Uh -huh. Thanks.
since you took me out just take me out let's go to the lake this weekend just you and me yes okay but then this weekend like this Saturday I'm tired I, I got a lot to do no but more than I promise I'll make it out to you definitely baby just do it That's for me better of a promise please Mother. for me okay you worry too much don't bother yourself all okay. right Whatever. Just stay with me, babe. It'll be right. Okay. Sure. Anyway. Promise. So, there's this guy who was pestering me the other day. Guy? Yeah. So, this guy, see, his name is. Uh, Zeji. Yeah, and he knows a lot about me. A lot. And what did he say? Uh, something about wanting to take me out, liking me and loving me and whatnot. And what did you say? Nothing. I told him to leave me alone. I mean, <laughs> you know me, right? <laughs> so, what you gonna do, huh? Hey, Uncle. I talked to the lady. I think you'll like her. Tony. Don't play with other people's feelings, okay? Come on, man. What are you going to have? A spiritual girlfriend? <laughs> Tony, I haven't seen her before. Huh? You can't propose love to someone I haven't seen. What more if I don't love her? Do you really think I'm stupid, Uncle? I told her she, you will only see her. It's like a new world order. Besides, I, I even lied saying that I wanted to see my gym progress. Clever boy. So, let's make a deal then. Is I drop you tomorrow? I'll see her. Deal? Deal. Okay, fine, my boy. Now, go and look another cloth like this. You come to it now, move this car. Okay, I see. You would be taking these um, common days. I do like traveling to out of town places myself. Okay, if you wish so. Then we'll go. So, tell me, how is Zim treating you? Mm, very good. So far, so good. I will have a story to tell when I get back to England, though. <laughs> so, what are your studies? Uh, I'm not studying anything. And during the weekend, I come to help Sage with laundry. You know, I can't start because I don't have money and time to balance things. Oh, come on, lady. 
a lady bigger and older than you without professions? You can attend evening lessons and I can ask Uncle Zedji to help you with the money. They have a soft spot for education. Do you mean every word of it? I will be very grateful for that, Tony. that you don't sound heavy. My fiance, of course. And what is he saying? None of your business. Hey, Kayla, come back here. Hey, sis, come over here. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Um, can you take all this food into takeaway business? Change of plan. But say, you're not the one who ordered this food. Tell me, how much is it? Uh, $47. $47? Yeah. Okay. Well, what is what? 2002 P. Alright, thank you. Thank you. took me for a dinner mm -hmm. tonight mm -hmm. and then before we even ate anything we got the call and then after the call walked out and that was it <gasps> what yeah that was the last I saw of him okay wait a minute are you telling me that Mike dumped you in that poor restaurant he dumped me girl yeah, that's what he did. Okay, what happened after that? Is it those not enough? That stupid crazy baboon, that sage you got. He just appeared from nowhere and he was about to start his drama. So I just walked out. You seem to hate this sage guy so much. I mean, what does he look like? Is he handsome? Is he cute? You know? It's a matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, the guy looks... Like a gentleman, mm -hmm. 
looks rich. Mm -hmm. He even drives an expensive car. Wow. But I don't like him. I don't. I just don't like him. Man. Okay. What more do you want in a man? I say, give this city a chance. Mm -hmm. Are you crazy? Girl. Okay. If you ask me, Michael is playing you, girl. Are you crazy? Mm, I'm telling no, you not. Mm. You will see. Very soon we will be married. Me and Mike will be together. Okay. Yeah, just wait and see. Damn. Hey, sh look at that dude. Hot guy. Doesn't matter. Brown sugar. Yes, girl. I know that guy. Mm? I know him. Mm -hmm. This is the same guy I was telling you about. Which guy? Um, Zeji. Remember, Zeji, that is him. Zeji! Yes, you! Come over here! Hi, take ladies. Take a seat, take a seat. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Oh, Kayla. Hi. So, how are you, ladies? You're fine. Oh, good. Um, Zeji meets my friend, Ezamara. Ezamara, this is the guy I was telling you about. Oh, yeah, the guy who's grateful for love, okay? Nice to meet you, Ezamara. Nice to meet you too, Zedge. Yes. So tell me, Zedge. Yes. Do you really love my friend here? Oh, yeah. Love is an understatement. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. But I don't feel anything for you. I know. But I'm just trying to make my feelings known to you. Anyway, enough of that. Kayla. Can you allow me to take Ezra Mara out one day? <laughs> what do you mean? Ezra Mara is right there and she's grown up. She's open for business. You can ask her out yourself. I'm so easy. You Thank can you. just tell me the place, date and time. Uh, yeah, get my number. Yes. Um, what's the number? Oh, 778. Oh, 678. 32-69. Six nine. Six zero. Six zero. Yes. Mm, Isamara. Yes. Mm. Ladies, it was my pleasure talking to you, right? Pleasure talking to you too. I'll see you around. Awesome. Take care. Take care. See you. Isamara, what was that about? You have a fiance. Isamara. Okay. What was that? that? It's such a crime to go out with somebody. Somebody? You are, you're going to be married. What are you doing? Girl. Hey, I'm talking to you. Michael, what was the meaning of that? Dumping me in a restaurant, leaving me alone. You made me look stupid, you know. Babes, I'm sorry. Oh, so now you're sorry. I mean, some You didn't even call me to tell me that you're sorry. You had to wait for me to come here so that you tell me you're sorry. You're not even sorry, are you? Okay, give me time to speak. No, you are not sorry, Michael. You're always yelling, care. I'm not yelling. Just give me time. Just give me a minute to explain, right? Okay, explain. Something just popped up. So, something? You know, oh, and I'm so sure that something is very important and it's more important than I am, right? I mean, it wasn't just important, it was, it was actually crucial. Crucial? It was a crucial issue. Are you even listening to yourself right now? What do you take me for? I am your girlfriend, okay? I am your fiance. I am the K. You know what? The only way we can solve this is to let my apology penetrate your heart. And I'm sorry for what happened. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can say sorry for a hundred times. I'm sorry. You hear me? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, after you left, that guy just appeared from nowhere. That guy? Yeah, that, uh, whatever his name is, I don't know. And what did he say this time around? Did you talk to him? No! I didn't give him a chance to speak, I just left. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now listen. So now, this coming weekend, I'm taking you to the lake. <laughs> and I promise. No, you always 
always lie to me. I'm promising you. You lie. Why can you lie? All the time, you always lie. But I promise you, this time, if you ever do this again, if you ever pull this stupid stance on me again, I promise you, we are over. You hear me? Over. Done. I have a bay. Whatever. I'm, I'm sorry. So, tell me, cuz. How's business in South Africa? Business is alright, hey, but you know, in a foreign land, it's a little bit of a disadvantage, but we're doing okay. We're surviving. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah. Whatever. Enough about business. Tell me. Mm. About your love life. Yeah. I mean, have you found someone yet to marry you? Is Amara. Mm-hmm. Why are you trying to talk me into man so soon? <laughs> Slow down, <laughs> hey. girl. Oh. Talking about that though, mm. what's that guy we saw at the shops? You remember? Shops. That cute guy we saw. Cute. Oh, Zedge. Okay. He's my friend's boyfriend. Yeah. Actually, not yet. Okay. See, he's seeking love, but my friend. She's refusing an open check when I mm-hmm. Finger my puts on we don't see my eye. That guy is cute. Why is she refusing? <laughs> don't tell me you're falling for him already. Oh well. Isn't you saying your friend is not interested in the guy, so hook me up. <laughs> How should I do that? I don't know. Cause you know the guy. So do something. <sighs> you can, right? Come on. I'll make a plan. Of course. I'll tell you my cousin. Mmm. Askana. Cool. I went out with Zejiga. If Zimbabwe had lover boys like Zej, girl, I promise you. Zim would be a far much better place to live in. Zeji knows how to make a girl smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, since you like him, mm. why don't you just go for it? Girl, Yeah. he doesn't like me. He loves you, remember? Oh no, he doesn't. He does. Okay, mm. so let's say he loves me like you're saying. Why did he take you out instead of taking me out? Girl, you keep shutting the door on him. How well, then do you expect him to ask? No, I don't. Oh. Flip. What is it? The car is just stopping. I, I don't know. I don't okay, know. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Dude. You are the reason. I have wrote this song Just to tell you How much I care It doesn't matter What I've gone through yeah. But I wanna tell you You are the reason I'm strong Hey baby Yeah baby I need your help uh, The car just stopped we, We're going to a workshop In Marindera Yes, I need... We're running out of time. What? Hello? Hello? What? Hang up. He's a monster. He doesn't even care. You know what, girl? Our only hope is Zedge. No, no, Let you can't call, call Zedge. No. Uh, hello, Zedge? Hi, it's Ezamara. Yes. Uh. The car just stopped. We're on our way to a workshop, Kumarondira, and it's near Sari Meets. Yes, please do come to our rescue. We are slowly running out of time. Aha, uh -huh. thanks. You didn't have to do that, you know. But I wanna tell you, you are the reason I'm strong again. Hey, yeah. Hey, it's Amara. Mm. How are you? Hi. I'm not the one who called you. I know that it's Amara who did. What's wrong with you? So, okay. tell me, what's happening here? 
message. Mm -hmm. The car just went quiet. I don't even know what the problem is, and we need to be in Marondera for a workshop. We're slowly running out of time. Oh, so, ladies, as you are slowly running out of time, uh -huh. you can take my car and rush to the workshop. I will attend to this one and I will take it back to Wow, thanks so much, Serge. Um, so, when we return the car, where, where are we going to meet you? you just give me a call. Uh, either you come and drop it or I'll come and pick it. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you so All much. All right, guys. All right. Time is Yeah, my dearest son, Kobe. You love him? Ah! Also, I'm going to say, my name. I beg your pardon? I don't know how to do it, but that's age. Sorry, I don't speak and understand each other that well. Oh, for real? Where are you from? I'm from Everton in England. Anyway, back to your issue. Mm. What's up with Uncle Zeji, Auntie? Um, do you know Kayla? Oh, yes, the beautiful queen. Beautiful? Is she? For real. Uncle Zeji doesn't go for second class. Are they like an item? An item is an understatement. Oh my gosh. Are you serious what? Is everything alright? Come in. Ah, Kayla. Hi, is it? How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, thank you so much. We had a wonderful journey. Very wonderful. So I just uh, came here to return your car. Thank you. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. So tell me something, Reg. Yeah. What do we owe you for offering us this service? Ah, oh, come on. What are friends for? Friends. <laughs> Look, okay. the reason that you put ten down my proposal doesn't make us so many enemies. <laughs> friends for life. Friends. So, what can I offer you? Ah, actually, nothing. I have to rush back to the office. Oh, come on. Get the drink? Um, uh, no. Some other day. Oh. I really have to go, yeah. You're serious? Yeah, I really have to go. I just. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let me just dress up and. Um, uh, no. Someone is coming to pick me up right now. Oh. Yes. Okay. I just uh, come to return oh, the car. Okay. Oh, are you, are you sure? Yeah. Uh, sure. Ah, okay. Uh, thanks for everything. Okay, so we are going to pay the visit again. You don't want to go back, Asha. Did you check on my shirt? You don't want to go back. Oh, maybe. You don't want to go back. Ah, whatever. Get a look at it tomorrow. Anyway, yesterday I went to return Mutaya's age. Uh-huh. And I was very disappointed, Sha. Looks like he's not interested anymore. Mm. Yeah, I even told Mekuti, hey, just because I turned down his proposal doesn't make us sworn enemies, blah, blah, blah. So, why are you disappointed now? You should be happy instead. Aunt <laughs> Omude. When I tell you, you're going to regret it, Chete, one day. What is that? Mm. Mm. Anyway, who's that beautiful girl over there in his room? Oh, Vatiswa. Vatiswa? Yeah, my cousin, you don't know her? No, no, I don't. Yeah, she's the coordinating director of some local NGO. Oh. She was away out of the country for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Now she's back, looking for a life partner of Fungi. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you can introduce her to Zedge. What? No, you can't do that, Isamal. No. And why not? Just because. You just can't do that. I'm Zed. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Um, can we do my class together? Oh, sure, maybe. What do you prefer? The rides or? I prefer the rides, but oh. I don't know how to do it. Oh, don't worry. I'll assist you. Okay. Then, uh, stretch a bit. We'll worry. We'll fall down. Okay? So, here we go. Do 10. 
切完，记住，哎 ，make sure that your bed is straight, okay? Okay, so 这里边 ，where you stay? I stay in Mount Pleasant. Where do you stay? I stay in Croydon. Okay, but I haven't been around for a couple of months already. Yeah, man, that's one of the first things you want to do. I see you not only my places are not enough. Oh, okay. So, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work for strategic solutions. I'm a chief strategist. Oh, I know that company. Uh -huh. It's got footprints in all the other countries in the world. Yeah. Uh, I'm a US company. What are you Okay. So, so we are, tired, right? are you married? Yeah, yeah, I'm married and I'm blessed with a bad girl. You're not married. I am. And you definitely don't have a child. How do you know? Okay, fine. Now you can go back to your bike, then I'll see you later. I want to do something about that. Okay, sure. Six years old. Yeah. And your sister is half your age. Mm -hmm. Now you are 60. That means your sister is 30 years. Uncle, when I'm six years old, she's three years old. Three years different. Yes. So when I'm 60, how old will she be? She's half your age, right? Mm -hmm. So she'll be 30. Uncle, three years different. She'll be 50. Oh, okay, Tony. Now I get it. Now I get it, my boy. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, Uncle, Auntie Kayla loves you, believe you me. Forget about this Malcolm game. You love her, don't you? I do, but... Uh... There is no but, Uncle. There is no middle ground. It's like a game of thrones. You live or you die. You swim or you sink. So what about Michael? To hell with him. Uncle, who's calling? Who is that? Hello? Uh, Tony, can I speak to your uncle, please? Uh, my uncle isn't around right now. He's outside with a certain girl. And who is this lady? I don't know. Is it not Ezamara? Oh, I'm not Ezamara. She is not. Wait, Tony, how does this girl look like? She is really beautiful. I mean beautiful. Bye. Thanks. What was the meaning of that? Oh, just nothing, Uncle. Just raising the demand a bit. She will now care for you a lot more. Now, I need to go to the gym, so what do I do, she asks me. Nothing, Mr. Strategist. I'll see you when you come, I go. Just take a text, you go. Kayla! You're welcome. Sesh, I don't like it. I don't even like it. What? Who were you talking to when I called? I was talking to a certain lady. Why are you concerned? Was the last time I checked on you, I was garbage to you. So all along you have been lying to me. You have been lying. No, 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 no. Kayla, I meant every word of it. I'm a principled person. Since uh, you told me time and again that I was not worth it and you have got a fiancé, I begged off. Look, Sage, you're a very nice guy. 
and I've slowly been having feelings for you, and lately they have gone strong. I really love you, Zay. Do you still love me? Kelly, I love you to the bone. But what's the use? And soon you'll be married to someone else. Forget about that someone else, Zay. Let's talk about you and me right now. Unless you're telling me that you were joking. I don't joke with people's feelings, okay? I don't mean what I say, always. From the first look, from the beginning, I loved you. I love you just now. I love you forever. I love you too. Will you spend the rest of your life with me? No, I promise. I'll always love you. I love you too. I love you too, Zed. What's wrong with that girl? Is she out of her mind or something? Relax, Kels. Compose yourself. She's just What's jealous. What's her problem? Anyway, until you say this girl is not in love with it, so that she woman is she? That's that's right. You know what? I'm actually also surprised that she's behaving this way, like being jealous over someone you're not in love with. You know what? Tell that bitch to stay that hell away from me, okay? <laughs> I don't want no nonsense. That is nonsense. <gasps> Oh, girl, okay, okay, fine. All right, enough about Kayla. Yeah? Please. So, mm. how far? You're in now, Zedge. Yeah. Mm. That guy is not even cracking, but mm -hmm. I mean, we're good together, but he's not responding. He's just so cold. Ish. I don't know why. Oh, can you help me? <laughs> Please. All right. What's the deal and what's an offer? Name your price. Hmm. Hello, Dubai. Is that all? Mm-hmm. Well, Dubai, here we come. Awesome. Great. Mycon. Hey. Okay. I got your message. What's up? Thank you for coming. Mm-hmm. And thank you for responding to my call, too. Sure. What's up? Tommy, mm -hmm. what is going on between Sage and Kayla? Mm. Which Sage are you talking about? Who knows that Sage on that? Kayla is no more coming to my place. Let alone calling me, she has even blocked my number. Why don't you just talk to her and solve your differences? Mm. Tell you what, mm -hmm. I'm the one who sent Sage to go and propose Kayla. It was a loyalty test mission. And for what good reason? Hmm? Okay. If you're the one who sent him, why are you so furious with me? Taste your own medicine. Now let me tell you this. If I find out they're going out together, mm. you, Zeji, and Kayla, you dead mate. And I assure you this. <laughs> and thank you for coming. Michael. Is that why you called me? I called you for short. And thank you for coming. Hey. What's up? How are you? I'm good. You got to talk. Okay. Tell me. Are you in love with Zeji? Yes, I am. And there's nothing you can do about that. So you think Zedji loves you? Oh, I don't think so. I know that he loves me. Unreservedly, actually. Now, let me tell you the naked truth. I'm the one who sent Zedji to come and propose you. Actually, there's a mission to see if you were faithful. For the past three months you were away, mm. I came across a very beautiful queen. Wow. Man, I got no doubt that this girl will marry you. Praise yeah. God. So <laughs> tell me, when is the big day? Listen. I still got to prove your loyalty and suitability to see if she's the best. So I have an assignment for you. You what's that? I want you to go and propose her. Mm -hmm. The question if she says yes, then I'll leave her right Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Hey. 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 
worth money. But me, I'm married. Instead of telling me how the mission went, tell me what I'm married. How did the mission go? <laughs> You ordered their food for forty-seven dollars. Are you crazy? <laughs> Ma'am, as I say, this is a mission. We've got to accomplish this first. Michael, look here. Kayla loves you. Okay? You know, she doesn't like me at all. She hurriedly left the restaurant when I tried to talk to her. Right? The food is right inside my car right now as we speak. Are you happy now? I'm not happy at all. You only try once. You go for her game. You know what, Michael? You are not even a man. You are not. But let me tell you something. I don't care about this, this drama and these games you've been playing. Okay? Because I love Zed and I know he loves me too. Now leave that Zed bastard alone. Hear me? And come back to me. You don't love you, babes. You, you all I have. And I've always told you that. I love you so much, Kay. But how? How, I Michael? Love you, I, love you, Kay. I am unfaithful. I how do you love me? All the mess happened, I know. And I'm sorry for all that. I'm sorry for all that. Jimmy? Okay. The sooner you realize that there's nothing else for me and you to talk about, the better for you. Okay? Because my heart now belongs to Zed. So you, you got that? So you think I'm just gonna fold my arms, sit back, and watch you fall in love with Zedji? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll tell you this. Very soon we're gonna see two dead bodies. Don't scare me, because I'm not scared of your threats. Just leave my house. I should... Leave! So long here. Just go! I've been thinking. You need to back away from Auntie Kayla. Hey, Mr. Strategist, don't even go there, my boy. Uncle, I'm serious. Sooner or later, Uncle Malcolm will find out, and then all hell will break loose. Don't forget that Malcolm is the one who pushed me on this girl. And also, you better look for better strategies, because you also pushed me on this calamity. Uncle, stop using your heart to use your mind. This is not a situation where you have to use your heart. It's too late, Tony, to break off. It's too late. Uncle, this isn't an African movie. You can't depend on the director and the, and the writers to help you with it. This is real life, Uncle. Well, I'll cross the bridge when I get to it. Time being, I've got a date with your auntie, Kayla, today. Right? Tell me it's a lie. It's a matter. You come back to me. I can do anything. I mean, I mean anything to get her back. You know what? I'll try and talk to her. Yes, please. But no promises. Oh, come on. Cause I know. Please, can you just access all your powers? This is Kayla we're talking about. So you you call me okay. Tell me something. What happened with the uncles? They both caused the problem. They both need to find a solution. We may be seeing body bags soon. What do you think happened? Uncle Michael touched the live wire. How could he do that? He clearly pushed Kayla into Uncle Zeji's arms. What do you think they're supposed to do? Both of them need to leave Kayla. That's the only solution possible. You betrayed me and stabbed me in the back, Zeji. You hear me? Come on, don't talk like that. Why don't you do the money to do the money to do the Now, you have seen that she's not faithful. Just leave her. My man, so tell me, what are you going to do with her? Well, myself, I don't mind an unfaithful woman. I will help her. Don't get into my nerves, right? You hear me? Don't get into my damn nerves. I'm not playing around. 
After all, he had joked my fiance. Leave Kayla. Kayla's mine. I'm in love, Sha. You are the one who caused all this. Okay? This is the bitter truth you have to stay with henceforth. You are the one who is supposed to stay clear of Kayla, not me. You hear me? Oh, man. This is the person last time I'm telling you that just back off. Yeah, leave me alone. And get out of my house. Get out. You see what I mean, Uncle? Now you're in this with your best friend, all because of a woman. Don't even go there, Tony. Talk of something else. Uncle, it's Auntie Kay. Tell it's coming. I hate you. Listen. I'm going to retort, I'm sorry. Hmm? I will explain. Explain what? What do you want to explain? There's nothing to explain. Don't even try to explain anything or try to call me, okay? You and Michael were trying to make a fool out of me. Don't explain anything. And Kay, please, wait. Just listen from his perspective. Talk to children like adults. Tony, totally look, your uncle is very selfish. He was trying to make me look up like, like, like I'm a prostitute. No, Auntie, Uncle loves you. Just talk to each other. But why is it? Why? Afternoon, Sister Jane. Afternoon, Doctor. Thanks. How is our patient? Mm, the, condition, the condition is very bad. Shame. Did you check the BP? Yes, the BP is very high and the temperature is not Okay. Did you give him anything? Yes, I gave him some antibiotics and an injection. Okay. And the drip is moving more, well, right? Yes. Uh, Sister Jane. Yes, doctor. I want you to go and attend at um, a patient who is in Ward 17. Okay. He's having difficulties in breathing. Okay. So I want you to attend to him now. Okay. Like immediately. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, doctor. All right. Good afternoon, Doc. Afternoon, how are you? I'm good. Good, thanks. Yeah. Uh, how are you related to the guy? Uh, I'm his friend. So, okay. how is he doing, Doc? Well, all I can tell you is to pray very hard mm. because his condition is very, very bad. But if he's lucky to gain consciousness, he might lose some of his senses. But it sounds serious, Uncle. Yes, Titi. But uh, don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. Mm. So, Doc, yes. what do you suggest? Can we fly him abroad? No, no, no. no I mean, not at the moment. There is no need to do that because we are still managing the condition. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell me something. Where are his parents, wife, or even his siblings? Uh, well, his parents are residing in Blawayo. Okay. But the big brother is already on the way coming down this side. He might arrive here today or tomorrow. Ah, oh, great. Yeah. So that means I'll see you guys around. Oh, thank you, Doc. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, yes. Can I have your number? Hey, boy, you are starting all over again. Don't worry, he's right. We have to keep in touch. Don't, you don't understand. <laughs> okay, I hear you. Yeah. Anyway, darling, don't worry. I'll give you my number later, okay? Alright, cool. Um, you, after seeing the patient, make sure you see me in my office. Okay, Doc. Alright, great. Oh, sure, thank you. Cool. My boy. My boy. Hello? Hello? I'm Craig, Nikon's brother, and I believe you are Mabel, the maid. 
tell me what happened with my brother. I I don't know exactly what happened, but I suspect the friend Sage. Because their friendship turned into hatred because of Kayla. So Sage is behind all this. But come to think of it, these guys used to be so close, like Bandi Nebrugwa. What really happened? What really happened? Uh, she was in love with Mike one. Then later the lady fell in love with Sage. That's when things fell apart. Anyway, I'm here now. Do not worry. I'll do it Sage accordingly. But at the moment I need to go and visit Mike one in the hospital. Which word is he admitted in? Uh, I don't know, sir. But was actually planning to go in. No, 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 no. Do not go and visit him today. I'll go and visit him today. And you will go and visit him like tomorrow, okay? I'm going. Ah, uh, say. Yes? I'm sorry, I just want to know something. What is the relationship between you and boss? <laughs> You want to know the relationship between me and your boss? I'm the firstborn. Mekon is the secondborn. And our little sister in South Africa is the lastborn. Understand? You yes, say, but I want to know something again. What do you do for a living? You want to know what I do for a living? I've been in prison for seven good years. And I was released two months ago. Do not ask me about my personal life again, okay? Yes, sir. You called me. Yeah. Why are you guys playing such a dangerous game? Samba told you, right? He's cheating. You have said so. He called me. Look, Serge. When your friend gained consciousness, he has to find Kayla on his side. And this will help us as far as his recovery is concerned. Okay. Okay. Is she going to agree about this? I personally will talk to her. Doctor, we've got a problem. What? So as we speak, Kayla is nowhere to be seen. She just disappeared into thin air like Benzin. Okay, fine. If she comes, let's say she comes back. How am I going to move on with the hair? Hey, hey! That's a secondary issue to deal with. For now, let's go back to the world. Hi. Hi. Fine. How is he? You can see the state that he is in. It's not good at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not good. Anyway, I'm Craig, his brother. And you are? It's Amara. Okay. Kayla's best friend. Kayla was his fiance. You mean Kayla, the one who has caused all this for my brother? Kayla is innocent. Do not pretend she did nothing to him. Do not pretend as if you do not know what I'm talking about. What? You really know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I can explain. Listen, out of this place. I said, I just... You do not tell me to go out. I am not your child. I said, get up before hey, I hey, you Excuse me. me. What is the noise all about? Huh? Listen, we have a patient to take care of. Let's put our differences aside and make sure Michael recovers. I'm sorry, Doc, but it is their fault. It's his fault. What are you talking about? Hey, 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 no. Cool down. Sorry, Doc. Doc. Yes. Is he going to wake up? Pretty soon. So for now, let's go home, people. We will meet tomorrow. But uh, Isamara, before you go, see me in my office. Oh, sure, Doc. All right. So, excuse me. Um, I'd like to attend to my patient. And please close the door. Okay, Joe. Uncle, if they take to to jail. He's not the one who did it. Let's maintain the straight face. They won't take him to jail, okay? Don't worry. 
Before I forget, take the daughter's number. She is beautiful. <sighs> Tony, Anko is in that hospital. Very, very painful. And you are still talking about taking the number of the doctor. Listen to me, Anko. What? Leave Kayla and think other options. Fine. I will think about it, okay? Time being, let's go back and see Uncle Mekwan in the hospital. Right? Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. So, tell me, what did you use hitting Mekwan? I'm not the one who hit him. It's Tony. Tony? Yes. Tony? Actually, he didn't have a choice. Mike wanted to stab me with a knife together with Kayla. Jesus Christ. So, what is the police saying? They don't know about it. We just told them that he had an accident. But when he gains conscience, Tony will be in hot soup. Tony is out of the country as we speak. He traveled to UK yesterday. You mean Tony is not here? Yes, he's gone. But uh, he left me with a message. For you. Yes. I think you guys you want to discuss about um, your education. So you pleaded with me that um, I can sponsor your education. So I want you to go and look for the course which you want to pursue. Then after you enroll, just come and tell me I'll pay your school fees. Oh my friend. Oh Sage. You, you mean, um, I mean, are you serious? Yes, I mean, I mean, every word of it. Oh my god, oh, god. Oh, thank okay. you, You're thank good. you. No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So tell me, have you seen Kayla? No. Since Mekwani got into the hospital, she's nowhere to be seen. No, I haven't seen her. The number is off. But you guys, you really? Yeah, yeah, yes, that's it, that's it. But uh, please, if you happen to see it, let me know, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, you just give me a call. Okay. Well, yeah. let's you know. um, so what I would do um, is um, you have to stop coming to my house now for the for this peace job, and you do to concentrate on your education. I know you have got a good future. Thank you. Okay, I must be on my way. I'll see you around. Okay. Thank you. Okay, hi, Isamara. Hi, Doc. Great. Um, Isamara, would you mind telling me what exactly is going on? Doctor, it's a long story. Fine. I now know everything. I know the whole story. And I understand uh, Kayla loves Zerg more than Michael. But please, I want you to try and talk to Kayla. Because when uh, Michael gains consciousness, I mean, they must get back together. Because this will help as far as Michael's recovery is concerned. But Doc, Kayla is nowhere to be seen. She left as soon as Michael got injured. Oh, too bad. But whenever you see her, please just try and convince her to get back with uh, Michael. Alright, Doc. I'll All right. do that. Okay, then. Thanks, uh, Isama. Thank you, Doc. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good day. Afternoon, Doc. Afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Good, thanks. Afternoon, sister. Uh, sister Makota, I'd like you to go in the ward and attend to the patient at bed number five. Please do that immediately. <laughs> How is it? Uh -huh. Well, uh, your brother has gained consciousness. Okay. But um, I'm sorry to tell you, he lost his memory. Can I take him like home uh -huh. to South Africa or somewhere else? No, no, I don't think so. I was actually thinking of referring him to a specialist. This is my brother we're talking about. Are you sure you will handle this? Yeah, I can. Alright, uh, if you're sure, then come with me to my office. Whatever. Alright. How do you see? He's recovering. 
Let the doctor say that he has lost his memory. What? Yeah. So, why did you bring him on? Mabel, you know this is my brother, okay? You're just a maid. At least you could have taken him to Mabel, I can do anything that I want with my brother. This is my brother, my blood. I can do whatever I want with him because he is my brother. You're just a maid, Mabel. Shut up. This is your maid, Mabel. Ah, uh, come on. Remember me? Oh. Mabel, tell me what really happened. What transpired, Mabel? I don't know. But what I know is Michael and, and his friends, they were no longer in good box. And truly speaking, I don't know who did this to him. That's for today, Mabel. I'm not going to sleep here. I'll deal with Zegi accordingly. And I'm going to revenge. Hey. Hey, what's up? I was thinking. What? I don't think Sage is the trouble cause. <laughs> what do you mean? Kayla is. <sighs> okay. So what do you think? He wants you to eliminate her. If I am to eliminate, it should be both of them. They should die. Deal. Show me the pick. the day done. Mommy. But tell me, why did they discharge him from the hospital like this? It's the grace, brother. Isamara, we have got a bad situation here. Please, can you just call the doctor? Sure, Sage. Where's Craig? I think he's in the sitting room. Okay, let me check him. Okay. Hi, Doc, how are you? It's Isamara. Michael's condition is worsening. Yeah, can you come over, please? Please. Yeah, that's where we are. Thank you. See you just now. Craig. Craig. What do you want? Why are you not taking Michael to the hospital? That's none of your business, and what do you want here? Are you crazy? What? You your brother is dying right inside there. So what? Take him to the hospital. I don't want to do that. So what do you want to do? The slap of the business because No, the come on, man. Thing. Come on, man. Be a reasonable for once. I do not even know. Take what my you... coin to the hospital. I'm not going to do that. Because I do not even know why you are why you are here and what you want. I said take my coin to the hospital, man. Man, listen. Just get out. Come on. I said get out. Hey, are you crazy? Take, get take out, my coin to the hospital. Just get out of hey, there. Come on, take my coin to the hospital. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. He's dead. What? Yes. <gasps> we have lost him. <gasps> so, uh, did you come alone here? Where is our uh, search? No, I'm sorry, you have to take heart, okay? Where is Zed? He went to the sitting room. Okay, please let me go and see him. I, I think you can come with me to the sitting room.
did this to him? No. Huh? Was he like this? No, is he alive, Doc? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Is he breathing? Oh, I'm sorry. He's dead. No! He's dead. Uh, uh, sorry, I think uh, we have to call the police now. Yeah, you have to call the police as a man. You have to do it like now. 